So today what I wanted to do was try to challenge myself. I have a uh, Stormcast Eternal Mini here from Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Never painted one of these guys before. I think I've been sitting on this miniature for like a year, year and a half. Got it at like the Warhammer store as like a free miniature. They always giving out miniatures and whatnot. And I primed it white and just never did anything with it. So I want to see how fast I could paint this, how good it turns out. I really haven't planned it too much. But I wanted to try at least this, this uh, Army Painter a Metallic Speed Paint 2.0. I have Hoplite Gold here, have never used it before. But I figure, you know, when I see pictures of these guys, they have a lot of gold on them. So, yeah, we're going to try it. I don't know how that's going to turn out. I did like some of their original speed paints, but as an overall range, I didn't really care for them too much. Like with the reactivation and stuff like that. Um, and I haven't tried their new versions yet. Uh, I've been using like uh, Vallejo's Express Color and Citadel Contrast Paints. Been really digging those, but we got that going. I'm just going to get into it. We ain't wasting any time here. So just going to kind of paint as I go. Like I'm not 100%. I'm going to do the base and everything. See how long it takes. So let's, uh, let's start timing ourselves, right? But here we go. We get this, uh, this hoplite. Speed paint metallic, kind of weird. A, a speed paint that's metallic. Um, for using this for the first time, it's going on pretty smooth. I don't know how it's going to dry though. Um, but yeah, normally with speed paints or con contrast paints, you kind of want to go on a little thick and spread it around so you don't have streaks and whatnot. Um, so this could be interesting. You don't want to use too much if, you know, you don't want it to bleed into other areas that you don't want that color. But here I'm not too concerned overall. I think most of it's going to be gold, but definitely going to be doing some details uh, here and there to make it stand out. So I think it would look kind of lame if it was just all gold. But you know what? Like, hey, if you just want to get something on the table, hey, maybe that'll work. Just throw a, some of the speed paint on here and just you know maybe put a shade over it or something a wash and then just hey it's ready and then just do some details later on like however you go about it i'm no professional man i'm i'm just trying to learn as i go come up with different ways to do things and just have fun like i'm not into these stormcast turtles i think they look kind of cool though um but yeah, I never painted one before, so this could be kind of cool. I'm already going over things where I'm like, ah, I should have done that. Something else, but that that's okay. I'm going to get gold on, on most of this. But this is, um, I hope this, this dries where it's kind of shiny. I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. Get the legs, don't forget the crotch. Crotchal regions always need some paint too. I mean, if you don't see it. I wouldn't stress too much about trying to get paint on it, but you know, hey, if it's like glaring, if you barely turn it and you can see a big white spot or a big like unpainted spot, eh, maybe it's worth trying to, to go after it. But if you don't normally see it or if it's obscured, why waste the time trying to get it? You're going to accidentally hit something else. I'm using this. Uh, this is the only brush from the army painter that I like is the uh, monster kind of like a, a shade brush. You're just trying to spread something on. I think it's pretty good for like contrast paints and stuff like that. My brush control is not the greatest. But you know what? I'm definitely better than when I was like 16 where I like cut my, my index finger, that scar right there. Uh, lifelong Warhammer scar. I was like 16, cut all the way to the bone with an X-Acto blade. I mean, that's not to do with painting, but man, kind of jacked myself up. I think everybody who's uh, been into tabletop gaming, putting together miniatures, probably has some form of battle scar if they've been doing it for long enough. That's the only one I got. I'm going to try not to get this gold on the base, though, because I do want to paint the base. This is like a push fit miniature, I think it was. It's been so long since I put it together, but I'm pretty sure because looking at the base, it's like, yeah, one of those like little push fit uh, intro like to the hobby minis type of thing. 
but it's got a lot of little details on the base, so kind of cool. You don't gotta, you don't gotta go about designing the base. You just paint it if you want, or just you know if you got one of these, you can put it on a different base. This thing's been sitting around for so long. I had to use some canned air to get the dust off of it. I said, I'm not going for any awards, I'm just going for, let me get this done quick. We're getting there. I haven't used any of the other brushes yet, but we may get to that point. I'm going to use this uh, Vallejo Caribbean Turquoise in some uh, areas here. I wanted to see how this turns out. I haven't used this one yet. I've been uh, digging these Vallejo Express colors. I've used quite a few of them. I use them solely, um, like just completely pretty much, other than a couple metallics on uh, my Hero Quest miniatures, and I think those came out pretty good. I did spend a decent amount of time working on those guys, but uh, I, th I think they, uh, they came out pretty good. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is nice. Okay, yeah, I like that. Hope that's not too off-putting, but hey. Okay, what's next? Holy crap. I feel like I'm still so far away. I think I'm gonna do the pole, and then uh, start working on the base, and then uh, touch up some areas. So we're getting there. Base time. And then we'll go back over some stuff, kind of bring it together, I hope. Some skeleton horde contrast for, I think I saw two skulls. Throw that down. The two skulls are done, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. And then, one of my favorite contrast colors. Put that down as like the sand or dirt. I always think it looks kind of good. But that's just my opinion. Remember, we ain't professionals here, man. We just painting, man. I'm putting it out there. I don't even care, dude. Like, yeah, there's, there's some pros out there. Do some amazing stuff, man. Definitely uh, respectable stuff, but you know, not all of us can be professional. Maybe one day. My goal is just to have something to spend some time doing, have a little bit of fun, get better over time, you know? So here he is, the final product, the little Stormcast Eternal. Now, it took me longer than I was hoping to paint this guy. My camera actually overheated toward the end, so I lost some of the footage. Uh, but pretty much at the end, I just finished the base by uh, painting the rim black and just kind of touching up a few little details here and there. But that took me around 35 minutes uh, to get to this complete point where we're at right here. Uh, you know, I'm happy with it. Um, I could have cut the time down by half, if not more, by just doing some simple contrast paint and just coating the whole thing in contrast paint and then maybe touching up some details later on. Uh, it's, it's a hobby. Everybody can approach it the way they want. And for me, it's just about having fun, maybe experimenting like I did today, trying some new paints and just kind of like not really planning things out. Just like, hey, let me just... Pain as I go, figure it out as I go, just kind of have a basic idea and just go with it. And to me, that's fun. You know, some people, they just want to play and they'll get their miniatures and they'll put them together, base coat them, you know, prime them or whatever, and then just slap a single contrast paint over the entire thing. Like, okay, this army's all orange or this one's all blue, you know, whatever, right? Or just spray paint them all metallic 
with a spray can or an airbrush. And, you know, that's fine too. However you want to go about it, as long as you're having fun, right? And that's what it is for me. It's about having fun, experimenting, learning. And I'm pretty happy with this guy. Pretty happy. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to be doing a lot more content, not just painting, but looking at board games, maybe reviews of products, uh, you know, card games, different things like that. Really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Big blurry thumb butt, like a Bigfoot. Bye.